Wow, I can't believe Uber's actually suing Los Angeles over this. Find out why in today's video. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the Rideshare Hub. My name is Dylan and thank you so much for coming by. I'm just sitting here drinking my morning coffee at a casual 2.40 p.m. Yes, I I sleep. I sleep in late, okay guys? <laughs> I'm not an early bird. I'm a late late owl, whatever you want to call it. But this is the Rideshare Hub. Thank you so much for coming by. Hello, my name is Dylan. It is a pleasure to meet you. Yes, you. Uh, so thank you. Thank you for coming by. Uh, the Rideshare Hub is a place for Uber and Lyft drivers to learn how to make more money and be better rideshare drivers. And what's better than being a better rideshare driver is knowing about everything that is going on in the news in rideshare, especially knowing what Uber is doing, what uh, Lyft is doing, and just how to make more money. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about, uh, sorry, my friend is FaceTiming me. <laughs> Look at this, should I answer it? No, I, I don't wanna put her on blast. <laughs> I'll call her back. Uh, in today's video, I'm talking about how Uber is suing Los Angeles. Yeah, it's crazy, um, it's absolutely insane. I didn't think that Uber was gonna do this, but they did. Basically, Los Angeles wants something from Uber, and Uber says, uh, 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 uh. So we're gonna get into all that, but before I do, guys, you can do me one simple, tiny little favor, and please, just hit the like button. It helps me out so much. If you're watching this and you still have not yet hit the like button, come on, can, can, you, just, can you just help me out today? <laughs> hit that like button, and also destroy the subscribe button so you will never ever miss one more video on uber and lyft on my channel i know i only post like 10 videos a day so <laughs> you know it's it i don't post very often you gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta subscribe all right all right here we go guys uber sues los angeles as the fight scooter data escalates la wants uber's location data but the ride hailing company says it's worried about privacy this is from andrew j hawkins andy j hawk he is a huge reporter. Look at this. This was on October 29th at 12.49 p.m. So not even three hours ago, guys. I know I am running a little bit late on this. But look at that. Look at that scooter. That's a really cool dress, honestly. Um, but here we go, guys. The fight between the city of Los Angeles again, and scooter companies over location data is heating up. On Monday, Uber filed a lawsuit against LA's Department of Transportation, pushing back against the requirement that scooter operators share anonymized real-time location data with the city. Essentially, Los Angeles wants to know exactly where the scooters are, exactly where they're going, and Uber's like, uh-uh. <laughs> so the suit, which was reported by CNET, but has yet um, to be filed in LA Superior Court, centers on LADOT's use of a digital tool called the Mobility Data Specification Program. So I really did want to show you guys this really, really quickly uh, before, you know, heading, here we go. This is from CNET. Um, essentially, Uber sues Los Angeles, blah, blah, blah. The right hailing company doesn't want to share everything with the city's government, and rightfully so, you know? Why does the government need to know everything? That is a very important thing. That would, there was a, if you guys don't remember, there was a huge um, issue when the government essentially there was some like uh, there was some like terrorist or something, and they the government wanted to look in that user's iMessages in his phone, and Apple said no, sorry, you you know you we respect the privacy of our users, and you know. But it's, that's, that's the thing, the government was like, well, this is for, for the better of mankind or whatever, blah, blah, blah. We need to fight justice. And Apple was like, sorry, we don't, you know, we respect our privacy. So I was like, dang, Apple actually does respect privacy. But, I mean, there's all these conspiracy theories that Apple's always listening and, you know, Amazon Alexa when you, hey Siri and all that. They, I mean, or hey Alexa, they're, gosh, I'm, they're probably listening to me right now for gosh sake, but... Whatever the case is, Uber does not want to share their their data information with their of their users, where their users are all, all at all times with the government. You know, the government like yeah, it's absolutely insane. There's so much data going on, data, data, data. The government wants it because they are building roads, and you know they want to whatever. 
Who, who knows why they want it, right? Creepy people out there. But Uber said, like, let's read this right here. Um, on Monday, that was yesterday, I believe, Uber filed a lawsuit. See, today's Tuesday. Uber filed a lawsuit against LA after months of refusing to give the Department of Transportation access to its scooter location data. Uh, I didn't even know Uber has scooters. Is that Bird? Did, did Uber buy Bird? Huh. Um, yeah, basically, uh, oh, maybe it's the bikes, this, the, the electric bikes that they have. Okay. Um, or did, maybe they own Bird now. But yeah. The department created the tool as a way to track and regulate all of the electric scooters that are operating on its streets. MDS provide, MDS stands for, uh, the digital tool track, mobility data spectrum spec specification. Provides the city with data on where each bike and scooter trip starts, the route each vehicle takes, and where each trip ends. LaDot said the data won't be shared with police without a warrant. Ooh, won't contain personal identifiers. It won't be subject to public disc uh, records um, requests. Naturally, MDS has proven controversial with scooter companies, which have balked, balked over having to share location data with the city. It's growing into a bigger problem beyond LA. Cities such as Columbus, Chattanooga, Omaha, San Jose, Seattle, Austin, and Louisville um, are demanding scooter companies agree to share data, blah, blah, blah. Uber, which owns the dockless scooter company and bike company, Jump. Okay. What, what do the Jump scooters look like? I'm curious. I don't even know. I don't really. I only take, like, Bird and Lime. Oh. Oh. These, oh, these huge, these red ones? I didn't know Uber owns those. Okay, so Uber owns those, guys. <laughs> wow, there's another thing that Uber does. Guys, you remember when Uber said that drivers are not core to their business? Well, that's another point right there for Uber because they own a scooter company now. So I'm not saying drivers aren't core. I'm just saying that's why, you know, that's another thing Uber does that, apart from the, the driving app. La Dot's general manager, Saleta Reynolds, created the plan and said the city governments could use the data to understand technology's impact on transit. But location data is sensitive information. While MDS doesn't collect personal information like name, age, gender, and address of the writer, privacy researchers found time and time again that it's relatively simple to figure out who a person is based on where they've been. If you take the same trip every day for your work commute, for example, it would only take a short time to figure out where you live and where you work based on that data, even without any names. That is scary. So even if they don't even know your name, they can figure out your address, they can figure out who you are. They know where you are at all times. I mean, the government pretty much wants to know everything about everyone. They want to, I, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if soon enough, there's just cameras everywhere. You know, at, I mean, even now you can't do any, like you can't get away with any, I'm not, I'm not saying you would want to, but it's so much harder to commit a crime. I'm not, again, I'm not committing crimes, but it's now, you, you, what are those door, those, uh, those doorknob, uh, camera things, ring, like ring and, um, those security systems, like you could do something and based on statistics, probability, if you're walking along the street, chances are you're being recorded by somebody's freaking doorknob camera at all times, like, I'm sure if I walk down my street right outside, at any given time, I'm probably being recorded. And that is scary. That and This is just the beginning of it, guys. Who knows if the government has access to all that and they're just watching everybody at all times. I could be watched right now. I have a freaking camera right here. Maybe the government's watching this. I have a camera right here. I got a microphone here. I got a microphone there. You know, I got a TV over there. Who, they could be my freaking microwave, you know? Who, who knows? Government, if you're if you're listening to me, I'm innocent, okay? <laughs> no, but seriously, guys, the government wants data. They want everything. And for the first time, I mean, I don't know about the first for the first time, but I'm actually happy what Uber's doing. Uber's saying no, we don't want to give you guys this data because whatever, you know. So Uber is suing. Basically, this is why they're suing. Uber is suing for the right to keep its scooters in the city without giving the government specific location data on its riders. The lawsuit is accompanied by a request for a temporary restraining order so Uber scooters can stay on Los Angeles streets until the case is decided in court. Essentially, the government, from my understanding, 
wants to either keep, they say you can keep the scooters, but you need to give us the data, or we're, you know, you know, you can't you put the scooters in without giving us the data. So that's it for today's video, guys. I just wanted to get this out for you and for me. I mean, yeah, I'm like I said, you know, I'm happy that Uber is not giving out the data, but at the end of the day, the government probably will get, end up getting what they want. So yeah, kudos to Uber for trying at least, right? Um, let me know your thoughts down below. Is this good for Uber or do you think the government should have access to this data? Thank you all for watching. Again, please leave the video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for daily videos on Uber and Lyft. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I will talk to y'all soon. All right, bye guys.